what should the future of tourism look like and how can we make it a reality? It was the big question at the Tourism Recovery Summit in Riyadh in Saudi Arabia. The event was a key signal that the tourism sector is eager to get back to business after a devastating 18 months. I think if we take a second and look back at what role tourism did play, it is the job contributor. It is the job creator. It contributes to local economies and villages and towns as well as urban cities. So moving forward, we support in the recovery of the economy as a whole because the tourism sector contributes to 10% of global GDP. In 2020, the size of the global travel and tourism market declined to 1.27 trillion euros. It's projected that that will increase to 1.4 trillion this year, with events like this showing optimism for a full and fast recovery. Greece's Minister for Tourism told the summit that the recently agreed European Digital Green Pass and cooperation across the wider globe is essential. The only way is to somehow establish a common set of rules. So what we need to do is we need to ensure that we build from the ground up again the framework that will allow it to stand on its own feet. The summit was held in conjunction with the opening of the first United Nations World Tourism Organization's regional office in the Middle East. It will be, I think, one of the most important uh, places to create new ideas, to execute them. Uh, for Middle East region, tourism is becoming more and more important. But as the world cautiously reopens, there are many post-pandemic solutions that have to be adopted to navigate back to normality. Jane Witherspoon, Euronews in Riyadh.